Uh, namaste everybody. Uh, today my responsibility is to introduce uh, for many uh, a relatively, you know, uh, very useful software for our clinical practice. Especially when you are doing research and in research when you are doing a literature search. So what I am going to talk about is how do I keep my literature search safe and useful. I am Dr. Amit Joshi. I am an arthroscopy surgeon at AKB Center for Arthroscopy, Sports Injury and Regenerative Medicine. So conducting a research is always a daunting task uh, and then you have to climb uphill all the time when you are doing a research or when you, you are writing your manuscript. And in this journey of uphill climb, you have to carry a stone uh, in front of you uphill and this stone is nothing but the literature search. So all the time throughout your research or writing your paper, you have to do a literature search. So the important of this is uh, literature search and referencing has to be done all the time in the process of uh, research and the manuscript writing. So whenever you are going to identify your topic during this identification or narrowing down of your topic, you must do a literature search. And whatever literature search you do at this process or at the process of identifying the topic, it has to be saved such that you can retrieve anytime very easily whenever you want. So when you go uh, to the, uh, the step of uh, proposal writing, again at this stage you have to go through the literature search and probably you have to do referencing of those literature which you have already read and you have already searched. The third step is the conduct of your research. So although you have submitted your proposal, the proposal has been approved for the research and during conduct of research, you've been just going through, you know, the process of research, but still you have to do, uh, continue doing your literature search. That is why uh, these newer literature that appears during the process of uh, your uh, uh, research process, you have to do literature search and again save them uh, for your future use, preferably at the same place. And finally, uh, we all know that the final literature search and the final referencing is very, very important when you are preparing your manuscript. So where to store these research is a important question um, because most of the time what happens uh, if our storage is not good enough and you store in different sections and at the time when you need to identify them, you have to go through all these sections, you know, and then it becomes very difficult to identify very easily. So most of the time, what are these sections? Most of the time, what we do is um, uh, we uh, print them and make a file, you know, so that we can get back to it. Probably uh, this is one of the most commonly done process. For uh, very younger people who are more versed with the uh, computer, Storing all the files in the desktop is the commonest way of keeping records of their literature review. But unfortunately, it has lots of fallacies identifying exactly the paper where I have tried to, you know, where I have found out certain particular information is very, very difficult. Uh, loss of these files is very, you know, possible if your computer crashes or inadvertently if you delete some of the folder some of the file, then you will lose those literature search. So to do that, uh, there are lots of, uh, you know, research software, referencing software, literature search software. And most commonly used in medical practice are Mendeley, Zotero and Inno. So actually, uh, uh, 15 years back when I started using this referencing software, I started with InNote. Uh, since this InNote was a big, you know, file and big uh, software, 
which is to be stored or installed into your you know desktop it occupied a lot of space so i switched to a uh, online system which is a jotero a uh, jotero was a very good one but uh, about 5 years back um, i came across uh, this software mendeley and then i found that the interface is good uh, you can open all your file into a same window you know in jotero what happens if you want to open the document it will open in another window and then you have to go to another in window to find it out so mendeley opens everything in one window so if you compare the interface of all these things all the interface of all these referencing software are almost similar so you have on top uh, the toolbox you know and then these toolbox are almost the same the logo may be different but almost the same in all three types what is important is it has three columns all the interference interferences say it is mendeley it is jotero or it is a uh, in note uh, all of these have three sections in its interface the first section is a uh, you know this is called a, a library section where you have all the libraries if you can create certain new libraries or new folders where you want to uh, you know, name that folder as your research and keep everything all the um, you know literature search into that folder i'll show you in the demonstration a live demonstration of that as well so the second column is known as the document column where you know all the references and the documents will be um, you know shown here and the third column is the note or details of those document column uh, the detail column is there and this uh, is one of the important column where you can keep your notes so three uh, sections on interface so this is a mendeley interface I'll show you this is interface of Jotero almost the same you know three uh, sections the first section of the library second section of document and third section of um, uh, the notes and this is uh, from uh, in note and in in note also you can see that this this has three sections the first section is library second section is document and the third section is details or the uh, notes so uh, as of now i have been using mendeley uh, which i find that this is very easy although this also has some fallacies you know some um, mistakes it, it can also do some correction requires but probably by far this is one of the best for me uh, it is not necessary that all of you you use mendeley uh, you can use uh, jotero or even you can use in note but what i want to suggest that whenever you are doing your research whenever you are writing your paper please use various referencing and literature search software so that it becomes easy to organize your literature search uh, uh, having said that let me uh, disclaim or let me uh, put a disclosure out here that i am not a representative of mendeley i simply love this software because this is uh, very easy to use and its interface i like this uh, that is the only reason um, i am present to do this you know mendeley here so before um, starting how to use your mendeley i'm sure that you have done all these three things <coughs> if you haven't done it uh, you have to do all these three steps first step is create an account and install mendeley in your desktop once you have created your account in Mendeley and installed it in your docs desktop, the second thing you have to do is you have to open the Mendeley and go to tool and then install web importer. Once web importer is you know imported, then third thing you have to do is add MS Word plugin into your uh, Word document. So I'll show you how to do this. The first one is to install your uh, uh, Mendeley go to Google and make sure that you search desktop so Mendeley desktop so mine is Mac that is why I'm searching Mac uh, then you go to the website Mendeley desktop make sure that this is Mendeley desktop not Mendeley referencing reference manager so what you have to do is register and then you have already downloaded down there it's downloading and then you have to register 
So this is confirmation of the registry into the Mendeley. So once you have downloaded and installed, the second is open your Mendeley desktop. So this is uh, Mendeley desktop uh, is open. So if you go into the top one, you'll find out the tool. Click that tool and go install web importer. So it will open another site and then you have to add this web importer to your Chrome. So you add the extension, it will confirm that you have added extension. So here is the confirmation that you have added extension. So once you have added, it will show into the all the web browsers. Finally, the third thing is again, uh, open Mendeley, go to tool, then you install MS plugin. In my case, it is already installed. If you have not installed it, it will take you through a process and will install plugin into the Word document. So this is the first step of what you do in your uh, desktop. Install your Mendeley. Join with uh, Web Importer and again plug in your Word with Mendeley. So let me come uh, live now. Uh, what I do is first I open my Mendeley. So this is my Mendeley. So you can see that this is my Mendeley desktop. So I open this Mendeley desktop. So this is uh, the uh, interface of Mendeley. Uh, I told you that this has three interface, three, you know, sections. This is called the library section. This is document section and these are the note and detail section. So what here I do is I'll create a new folder and let's name this new folder as a practice folder. P R A A C practice folder. So if you enter, then it will create there is already a folder that name enter unique name. Okay. So what I do is uh, I'll create a new folder which is known as uh, trial. Okay. Let's do trial. Trial. Okay. So if you see here, it has created a new folder which is known as trial. You can create any number of the folder, you know, whatever you want. So you can create a, let me show you how to create a new folder. This is Mendeley practice okay practice so see that a new folder has been created the mendeley practice and if you click into the mendeley practice this is the folder which is open and known as mendeley practice if you click somewhere else this is another research that i have been doing acl remnant so it will show you that um, uh, as acl remnant if you click any of the uh, you know this um, documents it will open the details of that document out here. You can check the details, either the details entered into it was correct or not. Okay, so we have created a folder and this time we are going to keep everything into the Mendeley practice. At this moment, there is nothing. So what you have to understand that this works, this is a desktop and then you work on the internet. So there are two things. So internet portion, of the Mendeley and the desktop portion of the Mendeley have to be connected to each other and this connection is done by the synchronization. So what I have to do is I have to sync whatever created here so that it will sync with the uh, online version of the Mendeley as well. So uh, let me try it again the syncing so you, you can see that it is showing the progress and then it has been synced. Then what I do is I stop this, minimize this and open my Google Chrome. So what happens <clears throat> whenever uh, you now you open the internet, you can see here this is the logo of Mendeley Web Importer. So make sure that you have connected this by the same process. If it is not showing here, you go to your extension, click your right mouse and then you manage your extension. If it is, it was not showing here, then it is hiding here. Please pin them so that it will be visible every time next to this search bar. So if you unpin, you can see that it has disappeared. If you pin it, it will appear. So you must continue this 
uh, uh, pinning process so that it is visible then what I do is I open PubMed let us see how to do a literature search and save into the Mendeley so this is a new PubMed interface so now I'm starting to search so again uh, coming to that uh, search keywords so my topic is ACL remnants in sorry ACL remnant reservation in ACL reconstruction so this is my search title so I was trying to look at the ACL remnant preservation while doing ACL reconstruction so what it has done is it has summarized all these things and it has given us 181 results. So it is not possible to read out all those 181 results. Okay. So what I have to do is I have to narrow down my um, search. So first what I will do is I will find out a mesh term for ACL. So what I do is I open this ACL. This is one document I have already opened and then go on the right side there is a mesh term. So you just click that mesh term. So it will open mesh terms for ACL. So what I want to know that do I know do I want to know ACL surgery or about ACL injury. So suppose uh, this is more close to my search my theme. So I click this and then another window appears so I'll search in PubMed okay if you click that automatically this this mesh term is now used to search in PubMed then you do interior cruciate ligament injury then you add a boolean operator and and add another one that is called remnant preservation now you just start searching so from 181 it has narrowed down to 57 so what it does is it searches all the literature which has both anterior cruciate ligament injury and uh, remnant preservation throughout the document so now again what I want to add is a field indicator so in field indicator what I'll add another bracket and I want this thing in title so I type TI and close the bracket and again same thing I do to the remnant preservation as well bracket and title okay let me try and hit this so it will bring me only 12 results so for my initial literature search for a detailed study I will use all these 12 references so I will read all these 12 references and then from here I will expand in future my further what is called um, you know search uh, searching of further more results so now what we have to do we have to save this all 12 so what many of us we do is we open this, uh, then download, try to download and keep in one folder in the desktop or one folder in the computer. So what we have to do is very simple if you are using a Mendeley or Jotero or whatever. So you can see that in this search as well, it is showing your Mendeley. So you just click this Mendeley, it will open a new window. So this is in new window, it is showing where you see that all these 12 all these 12 which is in this window it will be appearing into the Mendeley window you can see that the 12 references here also it was 12 reference here also it is 12 references detected now it will show you you want to which one you want to add to Mendeley you want to add all of them you want to add some of them it will give you an idea so in this case what if you want to add only few you can click one by one 
if you want to add all then you do a select all so it will select everything in this case we have selected all the second is where you want to add so you want to add into the Mendeley practice see that this is what happens the one um, folder that we created into the Mendeley um, desktop is now appearing into the web importer as well you know so you on un uncheck this practice just you want to add into the Mendeley practice so you see what you are doing is you are adding all the references inside the folder which is known as Mendeley practice now what you have to do is add so it will take some time uh, what I'll suggest is if you are adding more uh, paper do not do that identify which one narrow down your search to start your literature search or literature review as much as possible once it is narrowed down then only uh, you add the those paper initial paper into the Mendeley go to each and every paper read in detail and from there you try to expand your literature search go into the newer and the newer paper so it has already added so what I want to show you is that how it is added into the Mendeley desktop so again I'm opening Mendeley des desktop and the Mendeley practice it is showing nothing because we have added in web importer but we have not synchronized our Mendeley desktop with the web importer so what you have to do is synchronize this so it will take some time you can see that it has synchronized and there are 12 documents which has been there now it is downloading those which had uh, the um, PDF uh, it it will download the PDF as well so see that it is download this is a symbol of downloading and it has downloaded the PDF so out of these 12 three had PDF that means a full text and nine doesn't have a full text so this is uh, the document that has been imported from web importer so now what you have to do is you just go here and then click and I check the check the details of these things this is very important because not import not may not be important at this time but when you are referencing it may be important so if you find out that there is some problem of some some columns are missing then you have to you know um, uh, correct those columns so once you check it you can see here there are uh, the um, author column which is correct then there is an abstract uh, the date of uh, when we assessed it was today and then URL sometime you you can add URL if you don't have or if you want you can add URL important is to check this catalog IDs so if DOIs are correct or not and the PM IDs are correct or not and then you can see that there is file which is in the PDF if you want to add some more file you can click here and add so if you have checked it then you click here which says that details are correct I have corrected the details so next is uh, let us click this ANS paper details are correct ANS paper and this doesn't have a full text so now you want to add full text so there are three ways by which you can do so first thing I'll show you what I'm going to do is I will select this DOI so this is DOI has been selected I'll copy this and open my web browser and in web browser I'll open SciHub so this is one of the way it is not necessary to use SciHub always there are Hinari there are so many things but since at this moment this SciHub is free and very easy and comfortable to use I'm showing how to use this SciHub so the DOI that has been copied uh, from the document uh, is now pasted here so this is DOI has been pasted and you just open it it will open up the SciHub will give you an access of full text then what you do is you have to download this so you download into the desktop so on 2021 so next is you can try adding this into uh, uh, the 
Mendeley directly as well. See that this is checking for PDF. Wait for some time. Sometimes this will not give us uh, access. You know, this is a third party and may not give an access to us. But you can just check if it gives access, you can add it directly. So in this case, if you see that the Sci-Hub and Mendeley, Sci-Hub is since this is, you know, conflict of interest, it will not give us a direct access. So if direct access is not given, you cannot add this from here. So what I have done is I have downloaded it to the desktop. I'll minimize this and I'll show you where it has been downloaded. This is the ANS paper which has been downloaded in the desktop. So most of the time these downloaded paper are kept in new, you know, one folder so that you can access sometime. But here I'm going to show you that you do not put this into a separate folder but bring it to the Mendeley itself. So what you can do is this, this is ANS paper. What you do is you add, you go to this icon where there is add. If you click the down arrow, it will show you, give you a lot of options. So I'll not go into detail of this option. You can practice, you can, you know, download a whole folder. If it has 20 documents or 20 files you have already downloaded, you can import that into the Mendeley, you know, in one click. So in this case, we are going to add one by one. So what I'm going to do is, add files so it will ask me from where to add i'll go to desktop and from the desktop this is the ans paper i'm going to add so if you open it it will add a ans paper see that ans paper has appeared down so this is ans paper which has been you know um, uh, downloaded so what happens uh, there was a uh, it has added to this also you know you can see that a uh, text has been uh, sorry the full text has been added here but there are two references of same name so this one and this one so this is very important uh, and uh, you know valuable function of Mendeley that you can merge the same or exact the same article this is important when you are doing a literature search and adding to this in different time you know suppose you uh, again start searching after two months three months you have forgotten what are the things that you have already added into the uh, already added into the literature search and then you add the same literature but this Mendeley will take it as a different so when you do a referencing the same literature may be referenced as a different number so there is a, a important step that you have to follow in this case is uh, to merge this um, you know uh, files or more this documents which has been important into the Mendeley same references in different time so what you have to do is you have to go tool and in the down there it will give us an option to check for duplicates you just click there then it will check duplicates you can see here there are three duplicates so what you have to do is you have to merge these three duplicates and what you do is just it's seven hours just go into the tool check for duplicates it will open a new window and go on to the right side and confirm merge so it will merge automatically two documents have been merged and you just close it now you can see that the one and an has become one there was multiple an two three an now it has become one so this is how you can merge and once you have merged it then remember don't forget that there is a web importer as well you know which is bringing documents to this place and you what you have to do is you have to sync with that also so what you do is again you click this hit this sync button and it will sync with the web importer this is very important uh, important to understand that there are two platform working simultaneously one is the desktop Mendeley, the other one is the web importer. And the third one is the uh, add-in into the document or the add-in into the word. I will go into that. But before that, this is just I'm, what I am trying to show the extension of the Mendeley. Till now what we are doing is just saving everything into the Mendeley. Now I will give you a very important you know, aspect of Mendeley which I always practice and say that each of us 
those who are doing a literature search, writing a paper must try. And this has to be done in the same platform. So what I've done is, I'll again show you. So you click the, you click the PDF file or the full document. It will open a new window. See that? This is what I was saying. So it will open into a same interface. If it is a Jotero, it will open another window. But in this case, it is opening in the same window by a different button. See that? This is my library. And next is my uh, window of a full text I have opened. So if I go to library and open another one, like suppose I'll open the ANS paper. So this is ANS paper. It is opening a separate button or separate tab in the same window. So what important thing I want to show is a organization of your literature, organization of your thought process, everything in the Mendeley. So what I'm going to do is I open this review article and then I'm going to read this review article. So while reading, I'm going to, if I identify something very important, I'm going to save them separately so that I can use them in my document or I can, you know, come back very easily and screen them. Even if I have forgotten where I have read that particular, you know, sentence. So what I do here is anterior i start reading like anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction has become popular and effective surgery for the management of acl injury suppose this is important i i want to use this sentence maybe paraphrasing maybe changing it but this concept in my paper so what i do is i select this sorry sorry So I select this portion of the sentence. If you select that, it will give you another window. So what you do is you first, this is copy, this is note, this is highlight. So what you do, if you bring it there, the highlight, this is add this text and add a note. So you can just click this, it will create a note. And then what you have to do is you have to copy this. And then you have to paste. Sorry, let me do it again. Uh, let me delete. I have to copy text. Then again, add note. It will open this window. Paste it here. So what it does is, whatever you have copied from here is now pasted here. So if you want to edit, you just delete this. So this much. I want to type something here. So important for introduction. So put up your thought process here, you know, put up your thought process uh, into a note box. So if you click outside this box, so what it has done is it has saved this into notes. So if you click the note, you will see that this portion is saved here. Again, I'll show you extension of it. Uh, let me come to just for example. However, many studies have reported inconsistent clinical outcome when comparing remnant preservation ACLR or standard ACLR. This is very important. I'll be using this sentence maybe in different way in my research. So what I do is again, select this. I have to copy this. Again, you click your right mouse, then you add note and just paste it here. So the thing that you have copied is pasted here. Click outside the box, it will add here. See that you can add n number of notes. And important is if you want to keep change this color, you can change this color to red and you can go here and change this also to red. And you can make a note that red means very very important and also make a note that need further search so what you are doing is you are putting your thought process into one place your literature is here your literature is here in the mendeley 
your full text is here in the Mendeley and your thought process is here in the in the Mendeley. So if you want, if you think that 15 to 25 is the lit literature that has given here to you. So what you do is again you go to literature. So 15 to 25, you know, 15 to 25. So this is your 15 and that is your 25. So again you copy this. Copy this, then add note and paste and then you click outside the box. So what it has done is it has, you know, copied your 15 to 25 references here. So you don't need to go to again this text up and down and to identify. So whenever you click this, you can just go and copy one. This one, just copy it copy and then again you start searching you know sorry searching to search here so this is the paper you know you can do copy and paste and everything you can do. If you go to uh, the same thing, you know, you have everything out here. So that is what uh, you can do in uh, in uh, Mendeley. So you, you can keep your thought process organized in one interface. So this is uh, one document. Now I have finished reading this. I'll close this. I'll go to another one. It doesn't have any note yet. So I'll add just for your you know just to show how to do it again you go here this is again important you see that uh, what it is saying among them aclr with uh, with preservation of the remnant has theoretical advantage such as accelerated revascularization this is advantages okay so what i do is again copy this right click add to note go to add note and just paste and click outside so once this has come into the box you can also note here by saying that uh, advantages advantages of remnant preservation so this is what you are doing is you are organizing your thought process okay <clears throat> so uh, i'll not go into detail of this so this is already done so I'll just close it. I'll show you that. So this is one we have searched and then you can see that this is already saved. You know, this is the way you can, um, you know, put your thought process into a single uh, Mendeley. So this, this is another one. You, you can go to note and you can see that this is. So next time when you do uh, again, reread this paper, you don't need to read the full paper you can you you can just go into the notes and identify you know what are the things were important in this paper and then with this you can you can expand your literature search now this 13 to 18 paper probably you may need to read that more and add, add them also into your Mendeley so another way of adding some document into the Mendeley is suppose you have already have a let me close this you already have a folder so let me go and show you one paper so suppose let me bring this out so this is already you know you have already searched this ardens so this already you have searched so what you can do is just open this this is the document already there so you don't need to go to internet open and find out what you need to do is you just drag it and drop it so this is automatically added with the full text this is another way by which you can do a literature search but make sure whatever modification you do here you synchronize you synchronize and once you have synchronized then you again what you have to do is check for duplicates 
there are dupl more duplicates you confirm words and this, ha this has to be done multiple times you know so whatever you add this is all synchronized with the web importer as well so it so this is uh, how you can organize your thought process keep everything in one folder so this is a Mendeley suppose you are doing Mendeley practice suppose you are doing uh, further research this is another research you know this is another research so if you are doing simultaneously multiple research and you tend to forget where to keep this folder there is no need to hurry no need to rush you keep everything into the Mendeley and whenever you keep them you read them and you keep your thought process as a note so that it will be easy for you to revise or to go through the same article again and again uh, in nutshell in summary you don't need to read them completely so let me minimize and open a document so this is a story written by, by my daughter I'm just trying to show that how to add the reference into the word document when you are starting to prepare your manuscript suppose I want to add a reference here at the end of the paragraph so these as I told you that uh, we have done a plugin of Mendeley to the word document so this is a word document it may not be visible out here where the Mendeley is hidden is in the reference so you click the reference you can see that Mendeley is hidden out here so if you have not opened the document Mendeley you you can open but important and the most commonly used is the insertion uh, of your citation or addition edit the citation so what I'm going to do is I'm just the style is not defined here I'll show you everything how to use. just insert go to insert so it will open Mendeley you open then suppose you take sorry it is from Mendeley practice you take top two say top three and then go site this is a site you just click that okay I'll show you once again so this is insertion of citation and then this has inserted see that it has shown insertion of these citations so now what is important to is, is to see uh, in what style it has been inserted so if you want to use a Vancouver you go click there it will give you some option and then you click the Vancouver style so it will change the style automatically so suppose you are submitting your paper into American Journal of Sports Medicine so you can click American Journal of Sports Medicine you see it will it will change it so this is insertion of the citation you can go to the end of your document click place your cursor at the end of document give some space and what you have to do is insert bibliography just you insert your bibliography and it will insert bi bibliography out here as per the style you have generated here suppose if I change this and put on Harvard style okay let me find out the Harvard style uh, okay suppose Harvard style is not here so what you want to do is search for the Harvard style so what you do is more style and then get more style and type here is the Harvard so Harvard is not there let me cancel this so again coming to that uh, more style Harvard is here Try to, yes Harvard is here so use this style okay so this style has been selected you are done now and if you go there click more style go to Harvard use this style and let it done so it will change into a now it will change into Harvard see if you click this this is a Harvard style and all the references has been changed to Harvard style you see here this is now changed to Harvard style so your reference management is just into the click of a single button suppose uh, your uh, paper is rejected or your paper is denied from that uh, place journal where Harvard style is used now you have to change that to a 
ए जी एस एम स्टाइल और वैनकोवर स्टाइल और सम मोर स्टाइल यू नो सपोज यू जस्ट क्लिक दिस ए जी एस एम स्टाइल इन वन क्लिक इट इज चेंज इन टू द ए जी एस एम स्टाइल यू डोंट नीड टू स्टे यू नो फोकस सो मच ऑन मैनेजिंग द रेफरेंसेस ओके सो दिस इज वन आई वुड लाइक टू शो दैट नाउ आई विल एड सम मोर हियर बिलो द पैराग्राफ सो यू एड एडिट एंड देन वॉट यू डू इज गो टू मेंडेले and let let's take these uh, four and you cite so it will automatically put you know um rearrange your citation so that is how it is important and it's easy now next thing is till now we have done uh, you know citation of only pubmed index journal but uh, nepali papers not all are available in pubmed so what we have to do is we have to search into the google as well youtube and these all things have different methods of citation so this all is done by the mendel suppose we find out e kantipur this is in nepali i'll just show you e kantipur just click it so you open e kantipur so suppose you need to cite uh, uh, e kantipur so find out suppose this is the document i am not reading it just showing how it. so this is the document if you want to cite this uh, which is important sometime it is important you know so what you do is you just send it to mendeley and then you click this where you want to save again you select it mendeley practice just you add i'll show you another one if you have to do a youtube video suppose youtube suppose you want to cite uh okay let's go to youtube in youtube you open nepal orthopedic association so this is nepal orthopedic association youtube channel and these are the you know uh, the talks or these are the presentation that has been made in research for busy clinician suppose you want to cite something from here you want to cite something from from here this is the lecture which has been recorded uh, for helping and, me in organizing all and published in uh, and published in um, youtube so you want to cite this you don't need to do anything you just click the mendeley click to web importer of mendeley so it will synthesize and it will create see that research for busy clinician youtube and you just add that so this has been added so what we have done is we have added one from sorry one from nepali paper and the other one from uh, youtube so it hasn't shown it here so what you need to do is again synchronize and let it synchronize for a while that bar is going on you know it's showing that it is synchronized and you can see that uh, it has imported in the format it has to be you know um, reference so this is in nepali and this is from somewhere from youtube this is from youtube and this is for nepal this is nepali this is youtube so suppose again let's open that document and suppose you have to insert here you put your cursor there go to insert open mendeley and check this both and do cite so automatically what it has done is it has added your citation into that place if you go and check what 8 and 10 has done you go to 8 8 is your youtube research for busy clinician youtube access from this 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 and then 10 is in nepali you know this is the way uh, it has to be uh, you know submitted as per the american suppose if you change again that to a harvard it will change into the harvard style everywhere into the harvard style you see that this is in alphabetical order 
in Harvard style. And if you go here, this has changed into the Harvard style as well. And this is the Harvard style, Nepali and this thing. Okay. So this is how you can, you know, do reference. And then you can keep everything into Mendeley. As far as as far as the Jotero is concerned, just few words about Jotero. Jotero, Jotero has almost the same function. It just depends upon what you want to do, how you want to do it. That is the most important thing. And with which you are versed with. If you are using Jotero, there is no harm on using, using Jotero. If you are using InNote, there is no harm on using InNote. But what important message I would like to give is we all must learn how to use this referencing tool so that the research process and the uh, manuscript writing process become easy. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.